and welcome to Swiss village side in Canton Bern. Today we are visiting this super tiny house which is only 4 meters long and 2.5 meters wide and 3 meters high. Although it still has everything to stay at least one or two nights as it's made for because this is Airbnb house. And let's start with the living lounge area. Here we have a sitting bench which transforms into the bed. And right underneath we have a folding table and some nice desk. And over here we have tiny kitchen which works, we tried it today, it was perfectly fine to cook a breakfast. It has two ring stove which runs on the gas, a uh, gas tank and a 250 liter water tank is right behind the wall, it access from the other side, there is a box. This countertop is made of aluminium, which I find interesting, never saw it before. It has a Swiss uh, sink, quite deep for this size of the tiny house. And uh, here we have a tiny air extractor for the kitchen, which works just fine. And over here we have uh, three slide drawers. In the first one there is a garbage bin and some salt and pepper and some other stuff. Over here we have the domestic fridge, which is quite small, but for one, two days it will work just fine. And the last slider has some pots and pans and some cutlery over here. Right underneath there is AC DC plug to, to charge your stuff. And right over here is a toilet. It's a self-built composting toilet which uh, has separate solids and liquids. And over here we have some sawdust which you cover all your solids after you go to the toilet not to have a smell. And a tiny mirror. That's pretty much it. This house has no shower, although it has a, right next to the house, a hot tub, which is for sure very nice to use in a nice day, but today is super windy, I would say it's storm outside, so I apologize for the noise in the background. That's why we didn't film from outside, from outside I will show you some b-rolls, but uh, there is a quite nice terrace, and uh, two days ago it still had a tent over it, it flew away with this storm and the uh, chairs are hidden now as well because they just, it's so windy, they just have everything flying away. As you see here there is no wardrobe, there is just couple hangers. Uh, this house has no storage at all because it's just a couple of the getaway house. And uh, over here we have a ladder that brings you up to the loft. Loft is very tiny, I would say probably most tiniest loft we ever have been to, but we slept tonight and for one night it works for sure. Very nice unique feature what I like about this house is uh, huge glass doors, French doors, they're opening outside and uh, they're made from wood. We could even watch the stars at night right from the bed. While the windows are awesome, they are still not our most favorite feature of this house. What we enjoy the most is the heated floor. It takes such a big difference in comfort during cold days like today. And that's what we miss in our tiny house. This is an amazing feature that I would recommend to consider if you are planning to build a tiny house. 
Another positive aspect about having such a small tiny house is the weight and the size of it. You can tow it with smaller vehicles and it will go through tiny streets and other small places where with slightly larger tiny house it could be a problem. In terms of insulation the focus was to use natural materials so the tiny house is insulated with 10 cm wool panels. That's pretty much it about this house. We like to go and explore such different tiny houses to see what other people built and how they made the use of a tiny space. Before we built our house we were visiting quite often different sizes, tiny houses on wheels and not on wheels to understand what kind of layout will suit us the best, how big loft we will need and everything else. And uh, if you are looking to going tiny that's what we recommend to you. To go and visit as much as possible, stay overnight or just go and see different houses and to understand for example where you would like to have a wardrobe, where you would have kitchen, how big countertop you would need at all. And yeah, that was pretty much it of this unique very very tiny house. I hope you like it. Thumbs up and see you in the next one. Cheers!